Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now today, Live Oak is back with another bonus. This time a checking and a saving stackable bonus that could net you $300 and potentially some money even if you've done Live Oak in the past. So in typical fashion, we will cover the offer, terms and conditions, requirements, eligibility, everything you need to know to make Live Oak's money your money now or again. So of course, if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead, press the subscribe button and let's get to work. Now, as always, there will be a direct offer link down below. First link in the comments or in the description in the pinned comment. Now, a referral simply gets you where you need to go the fastest. Second part here, kind of teased in the open. We've talked about Live Oak like a few months ago. I think it was back in October. Um, so even if you did that bonus, there's a component of this bonus that you could be eligible for. It may still interest you. So, you know, don't turn away just yet. Of course, we'll cover all of that versus the new existing customers when we get into eligibility. This bonus has changed since we've seen it the last time, so we'll talk about my data point, but let's get into it here with this new updated offer from Live Oak, and here we have it. Again, uh, no happy people. We have to note that every single time, but you can see straight to the point, you know, the blue box and then the kind of the tan box, the, you know, a checking account and a savings account stackable for $300. So what do you need to do to get this money? Well, when we flip to the requirements section, we will take the checking account first. So there's a small business checking account, so it's going to be $150. You need to deposit $2,000 within 90 days of opening the account. You also need to complete 20 qualified uh, transactions within 90 days of opening that account. Now, qualifying debit transactions, how they're defining this, is going to be um, ATM withdrawals, debit card purchases, ACH payments, and paid checks. Each transaction must equal at least $20. So be mindful of that. Those Amazon reload trick for $1 each, not going to work this time. Uh, business savings account is the second piece. Again, you could do one of these or both of these, whichever one your heart desires or you're eligible to do, as we'll talk about. Pretty simple. Deposit $10,000 by March 31st and keep the funds on deposit for 90 days. Now, at the time of taping, their APY is 3.5%, which uh, for a business checking account isn't terrible. I wouldn't say it's high yield. You can definitely find some 4 and 5% out there. They're usually you know, capped at a set balance, but 3%, 3.5%, not that terrible. So, Let's break this down a little bit. Uh, so the checking account, again, I, I did the checking account bonus last time. Again, when we saw this last time, it was $300 just for the checking account. So arguably a better bonus, but I don't think we'll see that offer again. And I'll talk about that at the end for anyone who's interested just kind of how this bonus has evolved and why I think it, because I do think it is an interesting kind of a side topic. So, but anyway, so the checking account, pretty simple, deposit is $2,000. Um, it doesn't have to stay on deposit. Last time I did it, I deposited and I moved the vast majority of it out. I think I left $100 over there just to keep the account open. Um, now the, the, the qualifying transactions is what's changed. So again, the Amazon reloads of a dollar each are out now. From the list they gave, I think the easiest way is going to be doing the ACH payments. Um, so it is a business account, so I don't know if they necessarily mean just ACH money out to yourself or with business accounts, usually there's kind of like a bill pay type deal where you, know, you would enter in the destination account, so maybe like your home Bank of America account or whatever, and then you basically be paying yourself $20 each time, $20 20 times. You could do that. Honestly, you could probably automate that. That'd be pretty easy. I mean, if you're close to an ATM, you know, in network where you don't have to hit fees, then sure, just withdraw $20 a day or something like that. Now, the savings account, I don't think is actually that bad given the interest. It really just depends on what else you're doing with your money, right? For, you know, the opportunity cost. I do also think there's a potential play to hold on it until you know like next month you'd have to see like when the fed meets again but we're on track to continue to raise interest rates so it, it's a chance that, that 3.5 might get bumped up again it could be a little bit more advantageous for you to put your money over there again you have until march 31st to get the money over there so that's kind of a potential you might just want to keep an eye on if it raises but i mean who's really i don't remember when they're going to raise but they'll probably raise again at least by a little bit and then you know everyone else usually follows suit when they're in these higher interest rate accounts so either way there is that now let's talk about eligibility in case you've done the first offer um you know in october when we talked about it last time or your brand new customer so when we have eligibility fees and closures here, again, this is nationwide, new customers only, but new customers means you must be a new customer to the account you are applying for. Now, that means if you had a checking account last time or you still have a checking account, you cannot do the checking account bonus, but you could do the savings account bonus. I've also seen um, a few folks in the doctor of credit who actually emailed with customer service to confirm this. I can link that post down below for you. 
and there's there is no longer the trick to do multiple um, business accounts before multiple businesses before I believe you could have signed up with like an EIN for like two or three different businesses and they would have uh, they would have counted it but that is no go and of course there are no fees with this account and then there were no early closure rules as well now again it hasn't been around for that long so i don't know if anyone's closed theirs yet mine's still open just sitting there with zero balance and i haven't incurred any fees so there is that i'm um, in addition to that they do take the full time and then some to pay out but they are paying out so if you take a look at my data point again just for the checking account Opened the account on October 11th last year, funded it on October 14th. See, I completed the last of the debit card transactions and the bonus paid in January, so not too long ago, actually. So it is a, they do take a while to pay, but they did pay. That's kind of a trend I've been seeing. So overall, you know, I, I've seen a few different... Uh, uh, thoughts around this one and this is just the aside part just for curiosity's sake if you want to jump to the summary feel feel free to do so um but you know live oak their original bonus that we did back in october was just deposit two thousand dollars and complete you know 10 20 debit card transactions of any amount um for, you know for three hundred dollars well i remember going through it and everyone was the account was getting locked because if you did more than like three debit card transactions that were sus, um, suspicious, like you know of a dollar each, they could, they had to lock your account. And you couldn't override that. And so when I called in to get it unlocked, the lady was like, "Yeah, you're doing the bonus, aren't you?" I was like, "Yeah." She she knew. She's like, "Yeah, you're the third or fourth person I've talked to today with this issue." All that to say is when we talk about you know banks caring about you know when this happens when people just sign up for the bonus, I think this is a good example to prove that you know I don't think they necessarily they they, they care enough you know to change their conditions. They don't want to just get outright rolled, right? Um, so they make it a little bit harder. Now you're gonna have to lock up your money. Now we're going to have to increase the transaction amount because we don't want people just gaming the system. Uh, to that degree. So, you know, I've seen some folks asking like, hey, you know, if I didn't get in on this in the last time, should I just wait around to see if the other offer comes back? I don't think the other offer is coming back. I think this is the new offer because they got rolled so hard last time. So and I do think it is interesting to follow the history of offers and see how they change over time, especially in a newer one that we hadn't seen before. And then, you know, a few months later, there's a break. There's still the same dollar amount, but you can see how it's much more favorable to the bank now and a little bit harder to get. So those are my thoughts around that for anyone who finds it interesting. Now bring us home with a summary slide here. Again, Live Oak is the target up to 300 bucks if you do both of them. Product, again, it's going to be a checking and or savings account. It's nationwide. If you're doing the checking account, deposit that $2,000 and complete 20 qualified transactions of $20 each. And the savings is deposit $10,000 for 90 days. There are no fees and you can feel free to shut it down whenever you'd like. So there's that. Now, if this one isn't for you or if you've already done it in the past, well, then, of course, ProfitableContent.com is everything you need in the world of uh, credit and finance from news stories, credit card offers, and even more bank bonuses to hunt to your heart's content. So I will link that down below for you as well. That is the channel's blog. Overall, with this one, I'm still kind of thinking about doing the savings one potentially. Again, I just kind of look around and see what's the opportunity cost of that, you know, uh, but the higher APY might not make it bad. Then I can say I took, you know, $450 from uh, live oak which wouldn't be a bad haul overall but anyways guys let me know if you are interested in this one which piece of it you're going after love to get your thoughts on that anyways guys that's gonna do it for this one so of course if you liked it drop me a thumbs up down below if you found it particularly interesting consider subscribing to the channel because we're posting content just like this every week on how to make banks money become your money as always thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you very soon in the next one